The European Union filing antitrust charges against six Hollywood studios and a British broadcaster. They're accused of unfairly restricting customers' access to content within the European Union. Why is this significant? Well, it's interesting because, look, there are some rules in Europe that are basically saying if you are going to allow content to flow in the U.K. and Ireland, you've got to let that flow outside to the other areas of the European Union. These studios are accused of putting prohibitive measures inside of the contracts that will not allow that. So, for example, if you are even a British person traveling to France and you want to catch up on something, you may not see the same content in another European Union country. Now, the studios have time to respond before the final decision is made. We know the European Commission is much tougher on antitrust regulations than almost any other in the world. Okay. I want to ask you about jobless claims. We've seen the weekly claims plunge to the lowest level in 41 and a half years. That's pretty remarkable. It is. And what it tells us is this. The labor market continues to heal. Now, it's not fixed. It's not done. But we know lay that layoffs have tapered off. That's great news. And that's what this measurement is about. And we also know that job creation has kicked into gear. We've created 3 million jobs over the past year. That said, we have not seen wage increases. That's the missing component of the labor market. So what people are looking at right now, economists especially, are saying, is there enough pressure inside that labor market to start to nudge up wages? Why is that so important? Unless Americans get wage increases and get a nice little bump in their pay, they're not willing to spend freely throughout the economy. So I might feel better, I might feel more secure in my job, but I may not buy that extra something. Can they mandate that? I mean, we've been watching in New York City this uh, $15 minimum wage for fast food workers being mandated. Is that something you can mandate, higher wages? Uh, well, you can certainly create a minimum wage mandate, and you know, many mus municipalities are, but we really need to see wage increases across the entire spectrum. Yeah. So we really, in fact, the median household wage is basically stuck at where it was 15 years ago when you were inflation adjusted. You know what? I'm going to go talk to my boss about that right now. You're right. Everybody needs a wage increase now and then. It's and it's good go for the economy. That, that, that's the argument I'm exactly. going to make, Joe. Say, you say, I am a patriotic American. I need a raise. Joe, thank you so much for coming on with us. Appreciate it.